Here in southern Queensland, the Great Dividing Range splits into two. The range itself heads inland, while the Great Eastern Escarpment hugs the coast. We're travelling up the Escarpment to the Mary River. Yeah, go to the gate. Yeah, I'll do the gate. It's easy. It's a remarkable enclave of remarkable creatures. Scientist Marilyn Connell is taking us to meet some. The Mary River turtle. You're sleeping, Tim. Yes. They're a really unique turtle, and I'd have to guess that the thing's 10 or 20 million years old. Very unchanged. ancient, unchanged. Now, what is remarkable about this turtle, Tim? Well, to, to be polite, it breathes through its ass. You see his little tail there? Yeah. They've got a hole in the end of the tail, yeah. the cloaca, yeah. and they'll suck water in through that, and yeah. then there's a membrane there that which so extracts the oxygen out of it. Yes. Mm. Quite yes. similar to a gill. Gillish. Gillish. It's a cloaca. Oh, is there any other animal in the world that does that? Well, in this very river, there's another turtle that does it. This is the epicentre of us breathing creatures worldwide, <laughs> this river. They can breathe through their cloaca, but how fast can they run? OK. I'm going to back my fellow who's asleep, actually. The one at the back? The one at the back, yeah. All right. Because the odds on that are much... Uh, I, I should get a better price. You're free. You're free to leave. Hello. <laughs> oh. Marilyn wins. Congratulations. Thank you, John. Yes, excellent. <laughs> too easy, yes, too no, easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've just seen the little babies. Now we'll see what was responsible for that. My God, but look at the size of this thing. Wow. Look at oh. it, John. It grows from this to this. And how long would it take to get fully grown? Oh, maybe 15 to 20 years. 15 to 20 years. Yes. And a, an animal that lives 80 years. Oh, I know. It's so slightly demonic. And look at that cloaca. That is phenomenal. Can you give us a pull out the length so we can have a look at it? Right. But it's a multifunction thing, this magnificent tail. For the males, there's a, quite a spectacular penis hidden in there. Yes. And also, perhaps for swimming, it's, it's useful. There's a little right. sort of blade-like bit at the end. Yes. Oh, there it comes again. Look at that. You must be doing the right thing, John, I think. Yes. Well, one of us is. <laughs> and you're far more experienced and skilled than I. <laughs> well, well, <that's>, well, <laughs> there we go. There you go, old fellow. You go back in. There he goes. Well, what a remarkable fellow. Oh, I've got the hairs on the back of my neck are standing on end. <laughs> yeah, well... It's just one of the most well, amazing things. You were both excited. He was equally excited <laughs> to meet you, <laughs> Tim. <laughs> so, if you can imagine, this is the great dividing range I'm making here. There we go. She's up 90 million years ago. Rivers running to the west, into the inland. Rivers on the eastern side, down to the Pacific, including the Mary River. Now, the Mary cut back over time, cut through the Great Dividing Range and ran into the middle of one of the Westwoods Flowing Rivers. So the Westwoods Flowing River ended up joining the Mary and flowing down to the Pacific. And all of the creatures that lived in that upper part of that Westwoods Flowing River managed to cross the Great Dividing Range and get into the Mary River. And because the inland has dried out so much, their last refuge is the Mary River. Right. It's not the longest, it's not the biggest, mm. but Oregon's one of the most important rivers in Australia. 